And we're back with part 12, and oh my god, why are we- We're right at the beginning of a level, but we didn't go into it, so I don't know the name of this level. This You're getting is... <laughs> I don't- I don't know. Oh, hey, bonus barrel, how do we get to it? TNT Dynamite We. <laughs> I'll make my own damn path. Dun, dun. Find the coin, just go forward. <laughs> Pretty much. This game can uh, continues to make easiest X ever, but just keeps on doing it over and over again. Yeah, but everything is different in it. There are so many different ways to make the easiest bonus stage ever. Enter oh. the room. Well, actually, yeah, I was going to say, they don't have one where it just drops on top of you as soon as you enter it. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Well, you see, it's not easy if you don't have to do anything. Then it just happens. Yeah, so that's, in order yeah, for that's it the easiest. E in order for it to be easy, you have to... There must be some happen. degree of challenge. There must be some degree of action on your part. So Kirby, so Kirby's Epic Yarn really is the easiest game ever made because you still have to do things. You just have no chance of losing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Still not buying that that game doesn't suck, by the way. It doesn't suck. It's just it's pathetically easy. Not Kirby. It, yeah, whatever. That's a different argument. Drop the, down. God damn it, past me. What's what's you down a, there? You missed a bonus. No, I missed the you coin. You want to die? He's feeling depressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I missed the coin. The coin's down there, but. Okay, welcome to the suicide prevention hotline. If you ever, <laughs> if you're ever, if you're ever in trouble, you could just take this number. I'll you'll page you and page me, and then I'll give you a call. Really? Yeah, I'll call you a fucking asshole for wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> Perry actually has use right here. Actually, I think Perry turns into a bonus barrel. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Eggman's created a new concoction. It's the uh, barrelicizer, uh, as opposed it to just the roboticizer like that though. turns... The, that turns <laughs> it just looks like a no-animal sign. <laughs> yeah, but that that is what makes it so clever. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Jim Crow laws in the Donkey Kong universe are strict as fuck. All he has to do to win, uh, to, to, to take over the world no with that engine is put it at the end of the level. <laughs> <laughs> just put it right outside what? Sonic's door. What happened with Kitty at the end of that bonus barrel? He, like, he just fell. Well, no, wait, yeah, apparently you got the coin because there, was, a, there no. was an exclamation point. No, there. I got all the barrels. There's no yellow flag. There's no yellow flag. Oh god. Hi, Barbos. Die. This is this pretty This game much really likes weird boss fights. There hasn't has there been like just a standard jump on the guy three times boss fight? Nope. I think they used them all for DKC one and two. Yeah. The, now, you the, know, the, I, I really like that I really fight. like that aspect of this game. The bosses, you know, they're unique. You have to figure out how to do how to, what you need to do, and then you need to do it. Uh, I was going to say that the, the, uh, I said earlier the DKC three bosses seem to be a bit more varied than uh, DKC twos. Quick question: This water is red. What are we swimming in? Blood. Kool Aid. <laughs> no, Kool Aid's a child friendly wine. answer. The uh, adult answer is blood. Red well, wine. The, the, the tips of these seashells are red. So we're, swing, we're swimming in red wine. Unfortunately, we also have our eyes open, and alcohol isn't good for the eyeballs. <laughs> so, are we swimming in Barbos's victims or Unguard's victims? Um, they killed everything else on the reef, and now they're having a showdown between the two survivors. <laughs> <laughs> what gladiatorial slave combat? There can be only one. <laughs> Just FYI, sit here during this part and you'll never get hit once. I'll poke you in the eye again. Now shit out the coin. <laughs> you literally did. You know, you could look at this game by the uh, prospect of Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong uh, 
uh, get uh, kidnapped. So the so the bad guys hire Dixie and Diddy to be Dixie and Kitty to become their new uh, street workers, and they just mug everyone they see. <laughs> Where did that castle come from? <laughs> well, that would be an embarrassing way to lose one's underwear by being mugged by some monkey in kitty pajamas. That kind of reminds me of. Uh... Uh, I would follow Gareth's Twitter recently, and he like he he's, he's been uh, his Twitter po- Twitter post was like playing Sonic games backwards. Oh oh oh! Sonic- I got one. Uh, Sonic b- uh, battle backwards is uh, Sonic mugging Emerald and giving all the uh, Chaos Emerald pieces to Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sonic Colors was he built amusement parks and slaves aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we? Why are we back here? Because like I missed home. the point, so I'm going back to get it. Although I do like Home Alone too. Backwards is a story about a kid who helps two homeless people become progressively cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> If you watch Rambo, it's about a guy who magically heals people with his bullet vacuum. <laughs> Jurassic Park backwards is about dinosaurs who are bulimic. <laughs> Jaws backwards is about a park that throws up so many people they have to open up a beach. <laughs> if you watch Twilight backwards, what's wrong with you? You shouldn't be watching Twilight at all. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> uh, that is the test. That is that is a single biggest testament to how un how ungood that movie is. That it can't even do anything right when you play it the other way around. There's well, no when you play it the other way around. It's stupid bullshit high school drama. When you play it the when you play it the normal way, it's stupid high school bullshit drama. You, you don't win. <laughs> no, you play it backwards, and the devil steals your soul. And he tells you to buy the new Black Sabbath album. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, she's asleep. You're actually saving. <laughs> yeah, just to see where I'm at right now. Doesn't she die in the next game? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wait, she dies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she dies in 64. She's a ghost in that game. Is this like a kid friendly death, or is it like she's gruesome just, and she's shit? Just she's, no, she's, she's dead. Um, she's dead at the game that starts. Heart attack on screen. <laughs> she's dead. The, the explanation behind that is she got destroyed by K. Rule's fucking machine. Oh, well, the <laughs> asshole. He killed an old lady. Yep. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Incidentally, why is the old lady the one with the N64? 